The sound of a 140-pound hydraulic hammer rings out over the Elizabeth River as workers from Fishburn Drilling Incorporated, a contractor working for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Norfolk District, drive a sampling spoon into the sediment layers 40 feet below the river's surface. We're collecting uh, geotechnical samples for the dredging contractors so they can better understand what the material is that they'll be dredging out of the bottom. Norfolk District Environmental Engineer Mark Gutterman, who is helping to oversee the project, says this sort of sampling tells the contractors how dense the material is and how hard it will be to dredge through. The work is being completed for the U.S. Navy, who is relying on the Corps to help them deepen portions of the Elizabeth River. Right now the channel is about 40 feet deep, so they need another 7 feet of, um, of water depth. And we're looking at um, an area over maybe 600 feet at the most as far as the channel width is concerned. The deepening project will take place over a three to four mile span of the river from Lambert's Point to an area adjacent to the Norfolk Naval Shipyard in Portsmouth, Virginia. They're carrying uh, carriers, aircraft carriers into the shipyard and they need deeper water to provide for safe transit of the uh, aircraft carriers. And it's all based on uh, some new Navy guidance on the required um, underkill clearance for vessels going to the uh, shipyard. We'll do environmental as well, where we'll go in and assess it for suitability for upland placement like Craney Island. This Norfolk District project will not stop at sampling the river bottom. And we're also managing the construction cost, and we will eventually uh, manage the construction contract award. And once the contract's awarded, we'll manage the construction of the project. The deepening project is slated to start in fiscal year 2009, which begins October 1, 2008. This means that the contract should be awarded this fall and is expected to take a couple of years to complete. For the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Norfolk District, Patrick Bloodgood reporting.